Okay, so x is equals to 15. x equals to 15. x po yung scores in math. So using the equation, we have y equals to 3.9701 plus 0 0.4915 times 15 po. Okay, so we have y is equals to, compute lang po natin yan sa calcube. Okay, we have 3.9701 plus 0 0.4915 times 15. So, the answer will be 11.3426. So, we have 11.3426. So, therefore, round off lang po natin to into whole number kasi naka whole number po yung mga scores natin. Therefore, ang magiging score ng isang estudyante kapag nakakuha siya ng 15 sa math will be approximately equal or estimate lang po natin na 11. So, 11 po yung score in English. Okay, kapag nakakuha ka ng 15 na score sa math. Okay? So, let's have example number 2. Okay, using the example number 2 kanina, what is the regression equation? Predict the systolic blood pressure of a woman if her age is 60 years old. And letter B, if her age is 50 years old. Again, gamitin po natin yung example natin, number 2, dun sa correlation analysis. Now that we uh, calculate the R, and then meron naman po siyang correlation, so that we can proceed to regression analysis. Okay? Predict po muna natin yung at, compute muna natin yung A and B po natin. Okay? So, ang A po natin will be the formula for the A is equals to here. Substitute lang po natin yung mga given. So, ang Y natin, summation ng Y is 1678. Summation ng X squared is 33,243. Ang X naman natin is 617. XY is 87986. And para naman sa N, we have 12. And then summation ng X squared natin ay 33,243. And then ang summation ng X natin ay 670. So ganito lang po sa ating calcule. And para sa mga two-liner calculator, ito naman po yung pattern na pwede nyo magamit. Okay, so pwede po again, ito po ay pwede times, times. Times. Okay. O kaya pwede nyo na pong tanggalin itong isang parenthesis sa front. Okay. Ito, tang pwede na rin po itong tanggalin. And ito. Okay. So, compute natin siya sa calculator. Okay. Gamitin muna natin yung pang two-liner calculator. Okay. Pwede rin naman po itong nasa screen. Okay. Gamitin natin yan. Double parenthesis. 1678. Close. And then open. 33243, okay, close, minus, open, 617, close, open, 87986, dalawang close, divide, open, 12, open, 33243, and then close, minus, open, 617, close, squared, close equals. Okay, so ang magiging sagot po natin, again, kuha lang po tayo ng two decimal pieces. So, magiging value po ng A natin ay A is equals to 81.9878. Okay, two decimal pieces lang po ang kinuha natin. Sulat ko na lahat. Or na lang natin ng 81.9870. Ito na po yung A natin. And for the B, so naman po natin yung B. So ang N po natin dito ay 12. Summation ng XY is 87986. Summation ng X natin is 617. Summation ng Y natin is 1670. 12 ulit. Summation ng X squared is 33,000. 243. And summation ng x natin is 617. So, ganito naman po siya. 
And then for the HALT, ito po yung guide nyo. Okay? So, compute naman natin si B natin. Okay? We have open parentheses 12 times. Pwede po tayo mag times. 8, 7, 9, 86. Then, pwede na po mag minus agad. 6, 1, 7 times 1, 6, 78. I-close lang po natin siya. And then, divide, open, 12, and then times 33, 243. Diretso minus, 617, and then squared po. And close equals. So, magiging sagot po natin dito for the B is, sulat lang po natin lahat. So, B is equals to 1.12503438. Or meron tayong 4 decimal places, 1.1250. Ito na po yung ating B. Okay, so given yung ating A and B, hanapin naman natin yung ating regression equation. So, regression equation natin will be, formula po natin dito ay y equals to A plus Bx wherein ang A po natin will be 4 decimal pieces. So, you have 81.9878 plus ang B po natin is 1.1250x. So, ito na po yung ating regression equation. Okay? Na kung saan, pwede na nating ma-predict kapag ang blood pressure ng isang babae if her age is 60 years old. So, again, substitute lang po natin yung given. So, meron tayong y equals to 81.9878 plus 1.1250. Substitute lang po natin yung 60 kasi yan po yung x natin. Kasi yung x po yung h. Okay? Ang pinipredict po natin dito yung bp. Yung h po natin na x is the predictor. Okay? So, we have 1.1250 times 60. And then, tingnan po natin kung ano yung magiging blood pressure kapag ang age ng babae ay 60. Okay? Calcule lang po ulit. So, meron tayong 81.9878 plus 1.1250 times 60. So, the answer will be, okay, 149. 149.4870. Okay, round off na lang po natin to into whole number. So, ang magiging blood pressure po natin is approximately equal to 149. Okay. Next naman natin si letter B. Predict the symbol, ah, sorry, predict the systolic blood pressure of a woman if her age is 50 years old naman. So, ang gagawin naman po natin dyan, ganun pa din po. So, we have y is equals to 81.9878 plus 1.1250 times 60 naman. So, we have y is equals to, dito naman sa halkyo, palitan lang natin yung 60, gawin lang po natin 50. So, the answer will be 138.2378. Or approximately equal to 130. Ibig sabihin po, kapag ang age ng isang babae ay 60, pwede siyang magkaroon ng systolic blood pressure na 149. Kapag naman ang babae ay may age na 50, ang kanyang systolic blood pressure can be equal to 138. Okay, so that's how we do the regression analysis. Okay, so let's have the example number three. 